Katika ujumbe wangu wa shukurani wa rancha wa ya siku ya leo ninauita a table before the enemies. Ujumbe wa shukurani kichwa chake ni a table before the enemies. Yaani meza kuandaliwa bele za maadui. Na ningetaka tuweze kujiuliza swali moja wakati tunapoona hali na mambo mazito katika maisha yetu je huwa tuko na imani ya kwamba Mungu ako na uwezo wa kutupatia ushindi katika hali yoyote ile because we are living in days ya kwamba there is a song and the song is a song of hardship. Mambo ni magumu sana. Uchumi ni mbaya sana. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mafuta ni beikali sana. Ha? Kuna wimbo umewekwa katika midomo yetu. Ha? Na mimi nakataa huo wimbo. Because Biblia inasema inauliza ya kwamba whose report shall you believe? Praise the name of the living God. I shall believe uh, the report of the Lord. What does the report of the Lord says to you? Praise the name of the living God. The report of the Lord says uh, that our God uh, is unlimited. That is why the Bible says in Psalms 23 and verse 5, uh, that is our key verse for this message, overflows. Uo mstali, unasema ya kwamba, Bwana huniandalia meza bele ya maadui zangu. Huyu ni Daudi. Na Daudi alikuwa ametazama maisha yake na jinsi alikuwa ametembea na Mungu na akafika mahali pa kutangaza ya kwamba kila wakati ninaona maadui ni wakati wa kukura jina bwana ipewe sifa imagine mtu amefanya conclusion ya kwamba akiona maadui Mungu ametayarisha meza ni wakati wa kukura yani kumaanisha Daudi akisikia njaa alikuwa naomba maadui wakuje di wakule because kukiwa hakuna maadui hakuna meza sasa ya kaona ya kwamba meza huwa inaandaliwa wakati ambako kuna maadui Anamaanisha nini wakati anapoongea juu ya enemies because when we talk about uh, enemies uh, there are so many perceptions of maadui praise the name of the living god tunaweza kusema ya kwamba maadui ni hindrances uh, to your blessings enemies are hindrances uh, to your blessings to your breakthrough to your provisions uh, and there are so many things uh, that can hinder you to your blessings uh, to your breakthrough to your joy there are so many hindrances but david said uh, all of these hindrances combined uh, they cannot hinder me to partake uh, of what uh, god uh, has prepared uh, for me bwana sifuwe sana akasema hizi vizuizi zote zikiwa zimewekwa pamoja hakuna hata kizuizi hata kimoja kinaweza kunizuilia nikaingia mahali Mungu amekusudia you know wapendwa jambo moja ambalo Mungu amekuwa akifanya hata katika mikutano tumekuwa nayo tunaingia another prayer festival on monday but one of the things that god desires to do for the church is to prepare us to equip us for the times ahead of us i remember uh, from the year 2021 and even before we got into the year 2021 2020 we started preparing for the decade some of you can remember when we were doing a prayer for the decade tulianza kujitayarisha kwa sababu ya miaka kumi iliyo mbele zetu. Wangapi wanakumbuka hivyo? Bado tuko katika hiyo safari ya kujiandaa katika miaka kumi iliyo mbele yetu. 
Na inataka nikwambia kwamba hii miaka kumi iliyo mbele yetu inahitaji mtu ambaye amejiandaa kiroho ili aweze kumiliki na kuingia mahali Mungu amekusudia. Kuna watu watasikiza sauti nyingi na zile sauti zikiingia ndani yao zinaweza kufanya imani yako ikashuka na ukaanza kukubaliana na sauti za adui. Paul akasema and we know that all things work for good for them that love the Lord and they are called according to his purpose. Can you agree with that word that everything in your life is working for good? Everything in the nation is working for good. Praise the name of the living God. Why? Remember what David uh, 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 um, it was a riddle uh, by Samson but uh, this riddle was out of an encounter in the book of Judges chapter 14 and verse 14 uh, uh, Samson, came, uh, Samson came out with this riddle that out of the eater something sweeter he replied out of the eater something to eat out of the strong something sweeter for three days, they could not give the answer. Bwana Pawe Sifa. This leader, uh, Samson came out or, or, uh, 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 Samson came out uh, with this leader after having an encounter with a lion that attacked him. And after so many days, uh, he went back to the same place uh, and he found uh, in the carcass of the lion, uh, there was honey. And he took honey and ate. And then he said, out of the eater, the lion that had attacked me, I was able to kill this lion. And now I can be able to eat honey out of the eater. And the Bible says, for three days, the Philistines, hawangeweza kungamua, praise the name of the living God, that little, because walikuwa na shanga, how can you get something sweeter out of the eater? How can you get something good out of a destroyer? But I believe that God was teaching Samson and all of us that not everything that comes on your way to destroy you is meant to destroy you. It can make you better. Praise the name of the living God. Wengine siku ya reo tukombora kwa sababu kuna mambo tulipitia yalionekana ni mabaya ya kutumaliza lakini leo tunaangalia nyuma tunasema ni asante kwa sababu ya ile hali ambayo niliyopitia Mungu ameigeuza na badala ya inimalize imenifanya kuwa bora zaidi Praise the name of the living God Wapendwa nataka uangalie mwaka huu nyuma tunapomshukuru Bwana siku ya leo kwa miezi sita ambayo imepita ukaweze kumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu Mungu ni Mungu ambaye huandaa meza bere ya maadui na usiangalie maadui na ukaanza kuona ya kwamba ni kama hautaweza kuona ushindi wa Bwana katika mwaka huu wanaweza kuwa maadui katika uchumi uchumi unaweza kuwa mbaya na huyu anaweza kuwa ni adui moja ambaye tunapigana naye kama taifa lakini ningetaka uangalie maadui hao wote useme hata kama kuna corona useme hata kama uchumi ni mbaya useme hata kama kuna uchaguzi useme kama kuna mambo mengi combined kuna vita kule za Russia na Ukraine utangaze katika haya maadui wote kuna meza Mungu ameandaa na uanze kumwambia Bwana ninakushukuru kwa sababu wewe ni Mungu ambaye huniandalia meza bere ya maadui zangu praise the name of the living God kwa hivyo haijalishi mambo yale yameinuka bado naendelea kutangaza wewe umekuwa mwema kwangu na utaendelea kuwa mwema kwangu na nitamaliza 2022 na ushindi mkubwa Bwana asifiwe sana. Hallelujah. Psalms 78 from verse 18. Inaongea juu ya wana wa Israeli wakiwa kule jangwani. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba the Wilfre put God to test by demanding the food they craved. They spoke against God saying, can God spread a table in the desert? When he struck the lock, water gushed out 
and streams flowed abundantly. But can he also give us food? Can he supply meat for his people? When the Lord heard them, he was very angry. His fire broke out against Jacob, and his wrath rose against Israel. For they did not believe in God or trust in his deliverance. Bwana pewe sifa. Uh, jambo moja ambalo nimejifundisha katika safari ya imani na especially kumtumikia Mungu nimejifundisha kwamba my limitations are not God's limitations I know I am limited in so many ways but I have come to believe and to trust in a God who is not limited in any way. And one of the things we do, we take our own limitations and we impose the same limitations on our God. And we think because we are limited, he is also limited. Because how wana wa Israeli wakua kule jangwani, waliangalia. Wakaona tuko katika jangwa. Ha? Huh? Sasa hapa watu kama hawa wote zaidi ya milioni moja. kuwapatia nyama si ni kazi kubwa sana nyama zinaweza toka wapi na ni jangwani but you see wewe unaangalia mambo kama mwanadamu lakini haujui njia za Mungu sio njia zako Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Njia za Mungu sio njia zako. Mimi huwa nasema ya kwamba usiangalie adui na ukajiangalia wewe. Angalia adui na uangalie Mungu wako. Na sio tu adui, hata hitaji. Every time you see a need Usijilinganishe ninataka hii pesa unaangalia mshahara wako. Hapo hautaweza kuamini Mungu, lakini angalia hitaji lako, alafu uangalie Mungu unayemwamini. Bwana pe sifa. Ukiangalia hitaji lako na uangalie Mungu, utaona hitaji lako ni kidogo sana ama adui wako ni mdogo sana. Ninafikiria hivyo ndivyo Daudi alifanya wakati aliangalia Goliath, alafu akaangalia Mungu. Because kama Daudi angeangalia Goliath, alafu ajiangalie yeye, angeogopa. Hata Saul walikuwa nafanya hivyo na jeshi lote la Israeli lilifanya makosa hayo. Because hata wakati Daudi alisema ataenda kupigana huyu da Goliath, walimwambia wewe ni kijana Huyu mtu amekuwa akipigana vita kutoka akiwa mtoto angalia ni jitu hawakuwa wanajua kwamba kuna mmoja ambaye anaitwa the ancient of days ye ni mzee wa zamani kuliko Goliath hawakujua kuna mmoja ambaye anaitwa the lord of hosts ya kwamba ye ni bwana wa majeshi na Daudi hakuwa anajiangalia alipoangalia Goliath. Da, Daudi alikuwa anaangalia Goliath, alafu anaangalia Mungu. Anamwambia wewe unanijia kukuki, naona mkuki wako ni mkubwa. Lakini mimi ninakujia kwa jina la Bwana ambaye ndiye mkuu wa majeshi, he is a commander. He is the Lord of hosts. Mimi sijiangalii ninapokuja kwako. Mimi ninapokuja kwako ninaangalia huyu Mungu. That is why the Bible says uh, in Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 uh, without faith uh, it is impossible for you to please God. Why? And without faith it is impossible to please God. Because look at this because uh, anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. Hata tumalizie hapo. 
Yule yote anayekuja kwake lazima aamini ya kwamba he exist. The Bible says uh, Moses when he was facing Pharaoh he did not fear the king's anger because uh, he saw him who was invisible. And when Moses uh, saw him who was invisible he did not fear Pharaoh. Moses alikuwa anajua huu Pharaoh Ha? ni mkaidi ako na jeshi anaweza kuniua anaweza kunifanyia chochote lakini Musa hakujiangalia na akaangalia farao aliangalia farao na akamuona huyu Mungu ambaye haonekani na macho ya mwili lakini anaonekana na macho ya roho anaonekana na macho ya imani wakati Musa alimuona akasema mimi hata siwezi kuopa farao the bible says in hebrews uh, chapter 11 verse 27 uh, by faith uh, he left egypt not fearing the king's anger he persevered because uh, he saw him who is invisible so encouragement ya moses ilikuwa ni kwa sababu anamuona mungu akiona uku wake anasema sitaogopa farao Farao ni kitu kadogo. Majeshi yake ni kitu kidogo. Nikiona ukua huyu Mungu. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. That is why David alisema ya kwamba hata jeshi lije kwangu mimi sitaliogopa. Praise the name of the living God. Sasa we mtu mdogo unasema uopi jeshi ndio. Kwa sababu gani? Ninajua ninaye muamini. Praise the name of the living God. Wapendwa tunaishi siku ambazo mwenye haki wa Mungu ataishi kwa imani and the bible says uh, them that shall know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits uh, praise the name of the living god wale wataanza kuona Mungu wao katika hizi hali zinasemekana ni ngumu katika hizi nyakati zinasemekana ni mbaya the bible says uh, thick darkness covers the earth but for you Arise and shine for your light has come. How do you shine in darkness? And thick darkness is covering the earth. It is because you know you are God. Praise the name of the living God and you are going to be strong. Hallelujah. Nitamshukuru huyu Mungu ambaye yako na uwezo wa kuandaa meza mbele ya maadui zangu. Haijalishi ni adui gani unapigana naye, lakini Mungu ataniandalia meza bere ya corona. Mungu ataniandalia meza bere ya uchumi ambao unasemekana ni mbaya. Mungu ataniandalia meza hata wakati wa uchaguzi sitaingia kwa uchaguzi na uoga nitaingia na ujasiri kwa sababu ninajua yule ambaye nimemwamini na nimemkabidhi huu uchaguzi mikononi mwake akaweze kutawara kwa nguvu na uwezo praise the name of the living nitaona mkono wa Bwana nitazidi kuona matendo ya ukuu wake katikati ya maadui nitajiandaa kura kwa sababu gani kuna meza inayo andaliwa. Praise the name of the living God. Waje tusome sehemu ya mwisho ya maandiko. In the book of First Kings uh, uh, chapter 20, if we can be able to take a few verses. Tunaona kuna mfalme mmoja ambaye anaitwa Benhadad. Na kile nataka nikufundishe kwa dakika chache katika haya maandiko ni ya kwamba ukijifundisha kujipatiana kwa adui kidogo. Adui huwa hatosheki. You know some of you you may think uh, you are trying to seed some ground. Unakuwa mzuri, unapatia adui nafasi kidogo. Ha? Adui hatosheki. Adui ukimpatia nafasi kidogo atakusukuma mpaka wakati umefika kwa ukuta bado anakusukuma. Unamwambia you are pushing me against the wall. Umenifikisha mwisho hajali. Bora tu umekuwa muoga na unakubali kusonga adui atakangi watu wanakubali kusonga adui anatakanga watu wanasimama gangali praise the name of the living god unasema ninajua yule nimemwamini sitaogopa kamwe jina bwana ipewe sifa first kings chapter 20 from verse 1 inasema now ben hadad king of aram 
mustered his entire army accompanied by 32 kings with their horses and chariots. He went up and besieged Samaria and attacked it. He sent messengers, look at this, into the city to Ahab, king of Israel, saying, this is what Ben-Hadad says. Your silver and gold are mine, and the best of your wives and children are mine. The king of Israel answered, just as you say, my lord the king, I and all I have are yours. Bwana pae sifa. Huyu ni mfalme Ahab ambaye alikuwa mfalme wa Israeli wakati huo. Uh, ben Hadad ameweza kuleta wafalme wengi pamoja wamsaidie kupigana. Na kwa hivyo akatumana ujumbe na akasema dhahabu yako na fedha yako na watoto wako na wake kila kitu kizuri chako ni changu. Ni uchokozi. Naye mfalme wa Ahab anasema kama vile tu usemavyo bwana wangu mimi naona sitaki vita kwa hivyo ninakubali tu vile unavyosema tuendelee mstari wa tano. mstari wa tano unasema the messengers came again hawakutosheka and said this is what ben hadad says i sent to demand your silver and gold your wives and your children aha uh -huh. but about this time tomorrow I am going to send my officials to search your palace. And the houses of your officials, they will seize everything you value and carry it away. Uh -huh. The king of Israel summoned all the elders of the land and said to them, See how this man is looking for trouble. When he sent for my wives and my children and my silver and my gold, I did not refuse him. Uh -huh. Verse 8. The elders and all the people answered, don't listen to him or agree to his demands. So he replied to ben Hadad's messengers, tell my lord the king, you are servant to do all you demanded the first time. But this demand I cannot meet. They left and took the answer back to ben Hadad. Then ben Hadad sent another messenger to Ahab. May the God deal with me, be it ever so severely, if enough Dust remains in Samaria to give each of my men a handful. The king of Israel answered, tell him, one who puts on his armor should not boast like one who takes it off. Ben Hadad had this message where he and the kings were drinking in their tents and he ordered his men prepare to attack. So they prepared to attack the city. Meanwhile, a prophet came to Ab, king of Israel, and announced, this is what the Lord says, do you see this first army? I'll give it into your hand today. And then you know that I am the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati Ahab alikataa ku give in. And the elders of Israel wakamwambia kataa kujipatia na kwa Benhadad. Praise the name of the living God. Wakati hiyo ndio Mungu alituma nabii. Nabii akaenda akamwambia Ahab Unaona hili jeshi kubwa la Ben Hadad na majeshi mengine 32 ya mataifa tofauti. Unaona hili jeshi kubwa nitalipatiana mikononi mwako ili ujue ya kwamba I am not limited. Praise the name of the living God. Nataka kufundisha nini? My message is a table before my enemies. Nataka kufundisha jinsi unaweza kusimama na umwamini Mungu katika hali yote na useme katika hii hali nitaona ukuu wa Mungu haijalishi hali yako ni mbaya na mna gani Don't give in Don't surrender to the enemy Don't sit in the ground The enemy will never be satisfied Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Uliona wakati wa Ahab? Ha? Anakuja anachukua mifugo na ngamia na kila kitu. Anarudi baadaye anachukua watoto. Anarudi baadaye. Ha? Anaambia Mungu sasa nimeharibu kila kitu lakini huyo mzee siwacha nimuguze. Adui hatosheki. Ukiendelea kumpatia ground ataendelea kukusukuma mpaka mwisho. Lazima useme nimekataa. 
Najua yule ninaye muamini. Ye huandaa meza bere ya maadui. Bwana apewe sifa. Haleluya. Imagine sasa Ahab mara ya kwanza alikuwa amekubali na alikuwa ameambiwa fedha yako ni yangu. Dhahabu yako ni yangu. Wake zako na watoto ni wangu. Na akasema kujia ni mchuku wetu. Sasa mzee angeachwa bila bibi. Mzee angeachwa bila watoto. Mzee angeachwa bila mat- bila utajiri. Akiulizwa anasema ziliana na Ben Haddad. Praise the name of the living God. Hey, nasema hakuna chochote ambacho adui nitamkubalia. Musa akasema hatutawacha hata ukwato because we know the devil is a bagainer. Ukimpatia sehemu kidogo anataka zaidi. Ninakataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. If you read that first Kings uh, verse 23 ili tumalize, I want to read a few verses there. Uh, Mungu alimpatia ushindi uh, Ahab meanwhile the officials of the king of Alam advised him They are gods are gods of the hills that is why they were too strong for us but if we fight them in the on the plains surely we will be stronger than they Do this remove all the kings from their commands and replace them with other officers you must also raise uh, an army. Let's jump to verse 28. Verse 28. The man of God came up and told the king of Israel, this is what the Lord says, because the Arameans think the Lord is a God of the hills and not a God of the valleys, I will deliver this, this vast army into your hands and you know that I am the Lord. Praise the name of the living God. Baada ya Benadad kushindwa, akajipa moyo. He shakaba ganda, akasema inaonekana huyu mungu wao anaweza vita katika milima. Wacha sasa hii vita ipiganiwe katika mabonde. Unajua mataifa wakona miungu ya kila kitu. Wakona mungu wa mvua. Wakona mungu mwingine wa kuzaa. Wakona mungu mwingine wakubariki watoto wako na Mungu mwingine wakubariki biashara lakini Mungu wetu sio kama miungu ya mataifa alimwambia Musa i am water i am i can become whatever you want i can fight any battle i am not limited i can provide for you i can heal for you i can fight for you i am water i am praise the name of the living god mungu akatuma nabii akamwambia ahabu mfalme wa israeli kwa sababu ben hadadi na jeshi lake wanafikiria mimi ni mungu wa milimani mimi sio mungu wa mabodeni basi jiandae nitakupigania hili jeshi lote ili wajue ya kwamba mimi ni bwana iwe ni milimani iwe ni mabodeni hakuna mahali ninapoteza vita praise the name of the living god haleluya ukienda kwa jeshi la nchi kavu yeye ni bwana ukienda katika jeshi la maji praise the name of the living god yeye ni bwana ukienda katika jeshi la anga air force yeye ni bwana unajua majeshi yetu hata majeshi yetu yamegawanywa kuna air force inapigana kule na mandege praise the name of the living god Hallelujah. Kuna inchi kavu. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Kuna wale wanapigania kule baharini. Lakini Mungu wetu anapigana vita kila mahali na hakuna mahali ambapo anapoteza vita. Inua imani yako. Tangaza ya kwamba anaandaa meza mbele ya maadui. Haijalishi ile hali ambayo niko. Aha baada ya kumwamini Bwana aliandaliwa meza mbele ya maadui. Majeshi yaliyokuwa yamekusanyika aliona ushindi wa Bwana, aliona matendo ya Bwana. Nitamwamini huyu Mungu kwa sababu yeye ni yule jana na leo na hata milele. Ili nikiona maadui ninasema ni wakati wa kukura kama Daudi. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Unakuwa kama Daudi, ukiona maadui unasema ni wakati wa kukura. Ukiona maadui wameinuka, wakati wa kukura umefika. 
kwa sababu Mungu ni naye muabudu hajawahi kupigana vita. Kwa hivyo hata sasa tukiona hali mingi zimeinuka ni wakati wa kukura. Anaandaa meza wakati hali zimeinuka kwa sababu gani he is unlimited. Praise the name of the living God. Yeye hana mipaka ya kutenda. Anaweza kutenda wakati wowote. Isaac alipanda wakati wa kiangazi akavuna asilimia moja. kwa sababu gani alijua Mungu wake ni unlimited praise the name of the living god hallelujah god can bless you anytime anywhere if you only put your trust in him walisema anaweza jangwani atupatie nyama mimi nasema ya kwamba when god had them he was angry with jacob why because they did not trust in God. Praise the name of the living God. They did not put their trust in Him. They limited God by asking, can He be able to provide in this situation? Je, Mungu anaweza nikajenge nyumba wakati uchumi ni mbaya? Hiyo maswali Mungu akiyasikia unauliza, anakasirika na anasikia vibaya. Na hayo ndiyo maswali watu wengi wanaamini Mungu anajiuliza na wameweka wimbo katika mdomo wao ya vile mambo ni mabaya. Mimi najizuiria kuimba huo wimbo sana. Nisimkasirise Mungu kwa sababu hata wana Waisraeli Mungu aliwasikiliza tu akiongea. Pengine ni story tu alikuwa anapiga. Kama Mungu angekuwa na uwezo kutupatia nyama, lakini anaweza kweli na hapa ni jangwani. Kwa hivyo hiyo maswali huwa mnaongeanga. Mungu anakuanga hapo anasikiliza. Na kuna mastole unaweza kujiunganisha na, nayo mkiongea Mungu akasirike na wewe akisikia vile ambavyo haumwakilishi vile alivyo. Ye ni Mungu wa milimani, ye ni Mungu wa mabodeni. Ishara moja ya imani ni kubadilisha kuongea kwako because the Bible says you are father, you are God. The Bible says he calls things which are not as if they were. Mungu haiti vitu kulingana na vile unaona na macho. Hata watu alimwangalia Abraham akamuita Abraham. Akasema you are a father of many nations. Akamwangalia Sara, ak- Sarai akamuita Sara, a mother of many nations. Paka wakati moja Sara akacheka. Mungu akamuuliza Sara umecheka. Paka Sara akasema hapana. Paka unadaganya ni Mungu amekusikiliza yeye mwenyewe. Jina Bwana ipewe sifa. Najua sasa Sara alikuwa asicheka na jifikiria sasa mimi mama mzee mimi nitazaa katika huu umri jina bwana ipewe sifa but the god we serve is unlimited i choose to believe in him i choose to put my trust in him it doesn't matter the newspaper headlines but i choose to believe in him it doesn't matter the price of fuel but i choose to believe in him it doesn't matter there is an election ahead of us in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, and people are withholding their money because of the elections, uh, but I choose to believe in Him, uh, the way maker, the Lord our breaker, the ancient of days. Uh, oh my God, the unchangeable changer. I choose to believe in Him. Uh, he has never lost in a battle. He can fight, uh, oh my God, uh, in any condition. Uh, he is a God of the mountains. Uh, he is a God of the valleys. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, He can can provide for you when you are having a job. He can also provide for you when you are not having a job. He can provide for you when your business is doing well. Your business is high on the mountain. But he can also provide for you when you have lost in business. He can use other doors and other avenues to bless you because he is unlimited God. Wakiwa kule jangwani, Mungu si alileta tu upepo. Na baada ya kuleta upepo, akaleta wale ndege wanaitwa kwela wakawa mpaka mita moja juu. Hawangeweza kuwa maliza hawakupewa nyama one meal hawakupatiwa nyama siku moja praise the name of the living god our god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above more than you pray over and more you are thinking over we are going to celebrate 
in this half of the year that is remaining. Uh, and we are going to tell God, uh, we thank you for this far. We thank you for the enemies. Uh, because when we see the enemies, uh, we see a table that you are preparing before us. Uh, we see the victory that is ahead of us. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I choose to believe the report of the Lord. Uh, there are so many reports uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that have been given uh, even by international bodies. Uh, Reka Maganda, even by international media. But they are is a God uh, who is higher above uh, Reka Maganda, the research of men, uh, Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda, I choose to believe in him. Uh. Can you worship him? Can you tell him, Lord, I thank you for this farm. Thank you that you have given me the last six months of the year 2022. And I am on the other side of the year 2022 now. As I remain with another six months, I choose to believe you. I choose to trust in you. I choose to thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Bashanda. For you are a God who prepares a table. Before my enemies, Mungu aliandaa liyanda meza, bere ya ahaba. Ahaba likuwa mekubali ya kwamba, wake zake waende, watoto waende, dhahabu na fedha yende. Because alikuwa meona ugumu, na alikuwa meona hii hali, haiwezekani kupigana vita. Lakini Mungu akakuja akamwambia hili jeshi lote nitalipatiana mikononi mwako ili ukaweze kujua ya kwamba mimi ni Bwana wakati Benhadada alijiandaa mara ya pili Mungu bado akatuma mtumishi wake akamwambia Ahaba bado ninapanga nikupatie ushindi ndio ikajulikane mimi sio Mungu wa milimani hapana mimi napigana vita hata katika mabonde mimi ni Mungu nyakati zote nyakati mbaya na nyakati nzuri wakati mafuta ilikuwa bei ya chini alikuwa Mungu wakati mafuta imepanda bei ye eh, bado hajabadilika ye eh, bado ni Mungu si utangaze hakuna uku kama wako hakuna uwezo kama wako si umwambie bwana asante oh my god kila maganda umwambie wewe ambao umenileta ubali huu uko na uwezo wa kunisaidia uko na uwezo wa kunishindania Reka maganda bashanda 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 tumshukuruni Mungu tukiwachilia imani yetu si Mungu atufungue macho yetu ya ndani tumuone kama Musa alimuona yule ambaye haonekani ndipo hakuogopa ghadhabu ya mfalme farao hakuogopa jeshi la farao hakuogopa vile farao anaweza kumfanyia kwa sababu gani aliona kunaye moja kunaye moja kunaye moja ambaye haonekani na macho ya mwili lakini Musa akamuona i choose to believe in him Rika Baganda I choose to believe in him who is able to prepare a table in the midst of hindrances a table in the midst of opposition a table when the enemy rises like a flood the spirit of God we lift our standard against uh, the flood of the enemy. Oh my God, uh, may the Spirit of God uh, raise a standard uh, in your life, uh, in your life. Uh, you are not going to be swept uh, by the flood uh, of the enemy, of the enemy. Wewe hautabebwa, wewe hautabebwa na garika, wewe hautabebwa na garika, shata ramaganda, biyashara yako, watoto wako, doa yako, biyashara yako, Reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda wanda meza bere ya madui reka maganda mashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bado haujabadilika reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda bashanda reka maganda mashanda Mwenye haki wangu ataishi kwa imani na haki sita sitapendezwa na yeye reka maganda mashanda na kataku sita reka maganda mashanda oh my god 
I pray that my faith will not fail me, Lord, in this season. I pray that my faith will not fail me. Will you not fail me, Lord, in this year, O God, as I finish the next six months, O God, that my faith will not fail me, Lord. Reka Maganda Bashanda, 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 my Father, will you not fail me? Will you not fail me? My Father. My faith will not fail me. Shaka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda. Because my God is too big to fail me. Reka Maganda Bashanda. He is so mighty to fail me. Reka Maganda. You are so faithful to fail me. Reka Maganda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda. O sympathie, the Bible says, do not give the devil a foothold. A foothold. O sympathie, Ibirisi, Hata Nafasi Kidogo. O si kubaliane na yeye. Ben Haddad, Ali kubaliana na yeye Kidogo. Aka sukumwa kusukumwa. Kata kukubaliana. Kata. Amini Bwana. Oh my God, oh my King, Rika Maganda, my beautifier, my beautifier, Rika Maganda Bashanda, Rika Maganda Bashanda, Rika Maganda Bashanda, Rika Maganda Bashanda, Rika Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Si Mwambia ni Asante, Yeye ni Mungu Nyakati Zote, Mwambia Wewe ni Mungu Nyakati Zote, Wewe ni Mungu Nyakati Zote, Baba Naombea Imani Yetu, that our faith is not going to fail us, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda, but we'll be able to believe in you. We will be able to trust in you. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda, we refuse to surrender to the demands of the enemy. I refuse to surrender my mind to the demands of the enemy. I refuse to surrender. Reka Maganda, my tongue, I refuse to confess. Reka Maganda. Oh my God, uh, negatively, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, in all situations. Reka Baganda Ma, Reka Baganda Ma, Reka Baganda Ma, Reka Baganda Ma Shanda, Reka Baganda Ma Zia, Reka Baganda Ma Shanda, Reka Baganda Ma Shanda, Reka Baganda Ma Shanda, Reka Baganda Ma Zia. Take back the ground uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, that you had given to the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Take it back. Reka Maganda. Reka Maganda. Jijaze. Na useme. Nita muamini mungu. Badu atatenda. Badu akona uwezo. Reka Maganda. Don't compare your problem with yourself. Compare your enemy, your challenges with your God. With your God. With the ancient of days, with the Messiah, our breaker. Yes, see him who is invisible. See him. See him like Moses. Yes, see him like David. See him like Paul. Paul said, I know whom I have believed and that he is well able to accomplish that which I have entrusted to him. Do you know him? Do you know him? Shaka Baganda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Them that shall know they are God. They shall be stronger. They shall be stronger. Reka Maganda. I am waxing stronger and stronger. 
Reka maganda mashanda Reka maganda Reka maganda My father of faith Abraham He considered the factor Consider the factor But do not waver Do not waver Do not waver Kira maganda mashanda Nani kama wewe Mungu wetu? Simama na miguu yako. Ninapoalika worship team. Wapendwa. Nataka kusema nini lunch wa siku ya leo? I'm not saying that you become ignorant. We are not ignorant. We know what is happening around us. We know that the challenges that we are going through globally. But the Bible says our father of faith Abraham he considered the facts. But he did not waver. He considered him faithful who had promised we can consider the facts we are not ignorant of the facts but you can choose to believe because there is a god who gives life to the dead and he is our god so it doesn't matter how bad your situation is you can still choose to believe in him to trust in him that he is able to prepare a table before you are enemies i don't know what kind of an enemy you are facing today but i want you to lift your faith and declare i see a table i don't see shame i don't see failure i am not giving up on god i see a table being prepared praise the name of the living god i am and i am looking at the table to see what god is placing in that table because the table is not empty praise the name of the living god there are delicacies that are placed on the table i am going to partake of those uh, delicacies uh, in the mighty name uh, of jesus praise the name of the living god the bible says in the book of uh, isaiah chapter 25 uh, from verse uh, from verse 6 isaiah 25 uh, Uh, if we can read very quickly on this mountain the lord almighty will prepare a feast of rich food for all all peoples a banquet of aged wine the best of meats and the finest of wines on this mountain which mountain mount zion which day is the church that the lord will prepare a feast of rich food for all the peoples a banquet of aged wine the best of meats and the finest of wine verse 7 what will be happening around on this mountain he will destroy the shroud that enfolds all peoples the sheet that covers all nations verse 8 he will swallow up death forever the sovereign lord will wipe away the tears from all faces he will remove the disgrace of his people from all the earth the lord has spoken that means uh, the lord will prepare a table in times of hardship praise the name of the living god in times of disgrace in a time when there is a weeping and mourning the bible says on this mountain i will prepare a table praise the name of the living god I pray that you're going to partake the table of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus by faith in the next half of the year 2022 in the name of Jesus may God prepare a table before every enemy because he is a mighty God because he is a mighty deliverer as we gather tonight for the kesha I want to I want us to come here full of faith 
in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, that our God is unlimited God. Uh, he is able to fight every battle. He is a God of the mountains. Uh, he is a God of the valleys. Uh, he does not see any hindrance uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, when he is coming to bless you, you can see hindrances, but God does not see any hindrance. He can bless anyone, anytime, the way he wants to bless them. And he does not seek her and ask her for any help. As we gather tonight for the Kesha, let us release our faith that the last half of the year 2022 is going to be glorious. That we are going to shine in darkness. Yes, we consider the facts. Praise the name of the living God. But we are not going to waver. Because them that shall know their God, they shall be stronger. We shall be like Moses. We are not going to fear now. Because uh, we see him uh, who is invisible. We can feel him. Uh, we can touch him by faith. We can touch uh, the hem of his garment. Uh, and our eyes uh, will be made whole. Yes. Uh, I choose to believe uh, that God can prepare a table in the desert uh, and feed his people because he is not limited. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, he is a mighty God. Uh, I put my trust uh, in you because you are too faithful to fail me, Lord. Uh, I lift your name on high. I choose not to fear. Even as we are going towards the erection, I know there are so many questions that are going through your mind. But rather than being anxious, the Bible says, be anxious of, do not be anxious of anything. But by prayer, you should make your request be known unto God. We should not be anxious. I thank God by the grace of God. Uh, this week, uh, we, we met with uh, pastors in Eldoret and bishops. Uh, and we have also been able to do a meeting in Nairobi. Just prepare for the prayer meeting in Eldoreta and also preparing for the meeting in Nairobi because we are not going to be anxious. Praise the name of the living God. We are going to make our requests be known unto God. And then we can sit back and relax and see what God is going to do for us because he is a mighty warrior. He is a mighty deliverer. Praise the name of the living God. Can you tell him thank you because you are my God in the name of Jesus, the present helper in times of trouble. Reka Maganda, you are always near to me. You are always present. Reka Maganda Bashanda, you are my personal doctor. The Bible says, uh, He is the Lord uh, who healed us. Uh, tell Him thank you. You are my personal doctor. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda. You may not have enough money to have a doctor on call, uh, but the mighty God uh, says, uh, I am the Lord who healed you. He has provided uh, Reka Maganda healing. Uh, he has said, I am the present help in times of trouble. Reka Maganda. He is always on call. Uh, he is your personal doctor. He is Jehovah Jireh. Reka Maganda. The Lord your provider. You know the names of our God. Uh, helps us to know him. Uh, helps us to know him. Uh, when you call him by his names. Uh, Reka Maganda. They help you to know him. Uh, to know his power. Every name uh, of our God. Uh, activates uh, a different dimension uh, of God. Uh, that is why. David called him uh, the Lord of hosts uh, because the Lord of hosts uh, is he whom he wanted uh, to come and fight uh, the battle for him. Uh, Reka Maganda, can you call him by his names? Uh, what do you want? Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda, do you want El Shaddai? Do you want Jehovah Jireh? Reka Maganda, do you want Jehovah Rapha? Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda. And if you don't know any other name, you can call him Jesus because the Bible says he made all his fullness dwell in him. The fullness of God is in one name, the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name. Ila baganda baboshe, reka baganda bashanda baganda, reka baganda bashanda, 
Welcome to a glorious night in the presence of God. Tonight, we are going to surrender the next half of the year to God. Tonight, we are going to tell Him, take over the other half of the year 2022. Be with us. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. Wahabanati. Waendanasi. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Rimahandaba. Reka Maganda. Just worship Him. Magnify His holy name. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. It is your favor. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. He is the God of the mountains. He is the God of the valleys. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. I choose to believe. I choose to put my trust in Him. In the name of Jesus. Reka Maganda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. I will wait for his deliverance. Reka Maganda. I will wait for his deliverance. Reka Maganda Ma. Reka Maganda Ma. Reka Maganda Ma. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Rima. Reka Maganda. His presence is here. Wherever you are watching from, his presence is everywhere. Wherever you are, receive an encounter. Receive the touch. Touch the hem of his garment. Reka Maganda. Reka Maganda. Come out of every fear, every anxiety, every depression. Reka Maganda. Let it be broken. Surrender. 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 Surrender to him. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda Mashanda. Reka Maganda. Lord, I thank you for this far. You are Ebenezer. Reka Maganda. This far. You have brought me. There are six months. You have fought for me. You have upheld me. With your righteous right hand. I have a reason to praise you. I have a reason to magnify your holy name. You are my God. You are my treasure. You are my hope. Yes, my deliverer. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus.
toi 